picked the wrong weight to quit sniffing glue. My name is Optimus Prime. Autobots, roll out! Well, hello everybody. Welcome back. Uh, we are uh, in the week after, the week after Wonderfest, and I drove back on a Monday. Spent the rest of the week kind of reassimilating everything back into the house. Was looking around at something that I could build, and lo and behold, the uh, the pack two of Optimus Prime arrived. So I thought, what a wonderful way to finish out the Wonderfest week. I can do the pack two and not have to get out, you know, the paints and the airbrush and all of that kind of stuff. I can just work at it with the with the nuts and bolts and screws and Allen wrenches that come with the kit. Don't have to get out any paints or decals or anything like that. Great way to finish out the week. So we're gonna take um, we're gonna take today and we're going to do pack two of the Optimus Prime and this is mainly well it's only the left shoulder down to the left elbow so uh, let's meet the parts shall we alrighty here's a quick meet the parts I've, t I've already taken them out of the box uh, this time they did give us the uh, Allen wrench but I've got another set here just in case I uh, uh, find that I can use them a little bit more comfortably I've got my pad out because that's what I used to put my instructions on and that way I can follow them without having to uh, keep referring back and forth to the computer. Um, I kind of miss, I gotta say, I, I'm a little bit jealous. I see the, the printed booklets that sometimes accompany these builds and I kind of miss it because they've got some info about the character and that kind of stuff. But this is the stripped down version. We, have, we go online, you download the, the PDF that gives you the instructions for this particular uh, set and you can... First of all, you can uh, mark your parts, make sure every, you've got everything, and uh, check them off against the list. Now, again, I said this is the left shoulder, and you'll get an idea how big this block is going to be when you realize that's the top of the left shoulder. And, of course, you've got the big old uh, party piece, which is hard to get out of the tray, which is the big Autobot symbol that goes on his left, sh left shoulder. Uh, this is a lot of uh, internals. So there, yes, there are all of the red pieces that you see that are metal, except the symbol, are uh, external shell pieces. But uh, all of these black pieces that you see are internals. They are the guts of the, uh, uh, of the shoulder mechanism. And I, I, I'm quite surprised to say this is all plastic. I, I, might, have, I might have expected some of the really uh, integral parts to be metal. Uh, that doesn't seem to be the case. We've got some big old um, joints here uh, that are, of course, metal. Screws, nuts, and bolts, and all that. But I would have thought the internals to be uh, needed to be stronger. But we'll see when we put them all together. It may not. It may just be my own paranoia. But like I say, all of the red pieces that you see are metal. So uh, like last time, I'm not going to go through each little bit of construction. I'm going to start with uh part one and i think what we'll do is i'll like every other page or so i think i might just break and uh show you the progress but that's what i'm going to be putting together today probably going to be a short video so i hope you enjoy this as a little bit of a weekender to uh finish up what has been a very momentous week all righty i've got the first sub assembly to show off it is the smokestack on the outside of the uh, left shoulder nice it's got details inside there that one might not expect to see i'm sure that's going to be uh em 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 emblematic that's the word emblematic of all the rest of this build where you're going to see all kinds of fiddly details inside where you might not expect it now when i'm all said and done with this kit when it's all built i probably will go back and do some you know weathering on these smokestacks maybe a little scorch maybe a little burnt metal towards the top there maybe something around these baffles to uh to get to it so it's going to be important to know how to get these back off when i need to and it's a single screw there um once this whole megilla is built it's going to be interesting to see uh how um uh, feasible it is going to be to get back into them to tear them apart i may not be able to i may have to do all of that 
you know, just by masking this off and doing it from the outside. So uh, I'm already thinking ahead of how I'm going to be painting this. Okay, this is another good place to stop. I've got this huge uh, collection of joints and uh, none of it seems to want to move and that's because it's a very tight joint and it's going to take the weight of having the rest of Prime's arm on there before it really wants to do any mobile any mobility but you can see that it's all in there and these joints here are designed to turn but again I can't turn them by hand I think they're designed to you know hold the weight of this massive thing up when it's done so we got to this point now we've got a little momentous uh bit where we take this point and we add it to this point like that so now we're now we're finally starting to see some uh idea of the width of this shoulder piece Alrighty, next step i've got the two big plates that go on uh, the cover help cover up the mechanism now I remember when I said that I was uh, a little bit disheartened that there was so much plastic in here by the time you get all of this together it's as solid as it might as well be metal there is enough bolts and uh, hex nuts and screws into this thing that it, it's uh, it's not going anywhere quickly it is uh, it is a very secure and safe big chunk of uh, Optimus here. I, I, I'm, t I'm taking back what I was saying about what perhaps might have been a little bit of a flimsy thing uh, being in plastic and I have finished my first tray. So that goes in the trash heap and uh, I'm left with all of these, well you can't see them, all of these uh, screws and bolts that are uh, going to be used up in the next stage and I can move this tray over because I believe it is next and the parts that I need actually it'd be easier to pull them out of here uh, these are the parts that I'm going to be pulling over next as we are starting to work on the uh, I believe it's the uh, lower arm it is not the shoulder piece anymore alrighty I just did probably the trickiest bit of the uh, whole build and that is uh, securing the uh, upper bicep here I guess to the shoulder and uh, you kind of have to hold your tongue in just the right position while you're putting these little bolts in so that you can hit the the, uh, the screw head or the hex heads to them just right. But I think we can see now we're starting to see some mobility turning and uh, moving like this. And um, now we're going to start covering with the decorative plates all, all of this thing. So the next time you see it, I should have the rest of this, uh, the plates done I'm almost out of the uh, well I won't take them out prematurely but I'm almost out of the second tray of parts here but you can get an idea of where we're going to from this point this is the probably the uh, where the lower arm will attach and that's what's going to give us our double bend on the shoulder or on the elbow but uh, everything is looking quite nice to this point um, I think we're ready to put the the decorative stuff on the sexy fun stuff we are done how about that no major crises no back up and do it again none of that uh, the last tray is empty and we have a fully realized left shoulder look how huge this thing is Let me tilt the camera up so you can see the whole thing by the time you get to the bottom of the elbow to the top of the stack that's about uh, uh, well without it well I have a nice little measuring thing right here it is about a foot it is about 12 inches from stack top to the bottom of that and like I said earlier I noticed that once I started getting more parts on here these became easier to turn and I do believe it's because of the leverage that the extra pieces give you but uh, there's the back of it. This, of course, will go into the chest, and that will allow that rotation. Or the tor yeah, the chest, the torso. Um, but uh, I will go get the uh, the head, and we can, and the uh, front piece, and we can uh, compare it. And here are the three, uh, well, four main chunks that I've got done so far. 
you see the chess pieces uh, of course with the lights in them now this is the head with my replacement spikes on it those are not the IDW spikes that come with the, the uh, build up um, I, I, I like them obviously I'm going to use them they are uh, not as pronounced and they don't have that extra chin bit going down the side of the face so uh, that's what I'm going to be using and here is the newly completed uh, shoulder heavy son of a gun uh, like I said uh, I was surprised by how little metal was in it and now I'm not uh, the shell of it is metal the internals are all plastic with the exception of the big jointy uh, screws there but uh, it's plenty enough it's plenty heavy enough on its own I tell you now uh, I'm only speculating that next time we will either be doing the lower arm or we'll do, or we will be doing the other shoulder I'm not quite sure what the uh, what the build is going to be next so until next month until all are one uh, this is this month's build of the Agora Optimus Prime and thus ends the video for this week uh, back next week well since this is kind of held separate from the other weekly videos uh, it doesn't make sense to tell you what's next week because depending on how you watch it it may not, may not be the next video that you see so until the next time we uh, pick up the next uh, box from Agora Models on the uh, Optimus Prime build y'all be good be safe be smart take care of each other we'll see you back here